hey guys in this video i am going to explain about how to pass the data between main bot and uh, skill bot so if you are new to bot skill in composer first check it out my video how to create a skill in bot composer i'll give you in the description the video link first you can check it out and come back to this video so let's start so first i have i have um, I have created two bot here, one for bot communication and another one uh, skill communicator. So first step, bot communication, this is a root bot. The root bot send the data to skill bot. So skill bot receive the value and process it and the skill bot return some value to the bot communicator, this uh, root bot, bot communication. So let's start. First thing is uh, select this option, connect to skill. So this activity we are going to add or send the value to the skill bot. So first thing is go to this activity type name. The next one is value. So value which value you are going to send. Let's say for example a hard code like um, I am root bot. Let's say root bot. That's it. So this value we are going to read into the skill communicator. So select this one even received. Go and add. Let's say here send respond. Turn dot activity dot value. That's it. Restart the bot. So it started open web chat, restart the conversation, welcome to your bot, my trigger area is a connect, so I'm going to send this connect, so once it's connected, we are triggering to external event to connect the skill, so the connect skill get invoked, the event received here. The values we added, we are just displaying turn activity dot value. I am root bot. So this value only we are send it from here. Send it from here. So this is a hard coded. If you want to send dynamic value, so you can make it simple here. Let's say for example, add go to manage property, set a property. Here you can add like a dialog or use a you can choose your uh, property which property you want to store your scope of the property you can store the values so dialog dot let's say input would we'll say input this value you can dynamically assign it here at the moment i just hard code it so i am root bot same thing just copy this one go to connect to skill instead of this art code remove this one assign it so dollar like this that's it so if you are in in dynamically you are assigning this value dialog dot input if you are assigning any runtime value so that value get automatically assigned this dialog dot input so dynamically this value get updated in the activity so whenever connect to skill bot is calling automatically this value get filled started open web chat restart the conversation this time connect i am root bot it's done so first to thing is done so bot root bot communicate to the skill bot so the next step skill bot something is processed and send back to the value to the root bot how to send it we'll do that one so go to first skill communicate bot click this even received first add the condition dialog management not the condition just call the end dialog end this dialog in this dialog here you can assign the value okay which value you want to send it let's say i hard code the value 
I am done. I am done. Something like this. So once this event is received under process, finally it called the end this this dialog step. So once end end this dialog is called, it's automatically return the value I am done. So this value we have to capture. So go to our root bot, connect, click this one, connect to skill. Just scroll down. Here you can see property. So this property we have to capture the return value. I called this one is a dialog dot return value. That's it. Just copy. Here you notice the return result assigned this dialog dot return value. So that's it. If you want, we can just print this value also. Click send respond. That's it. We can restart the bot. Started open web chat. Restart the conversation. Send the command connect. Notice here, I am root bot. So this is value from bot to uh, skill bot. So once process is done, skill bot send the response. So I am done. So automatically this value return and capture into this one of the property called dialog dot return value. This is a user defined property. You can uh, you can use it any uh, variable here. So I capture this value here and I display it. 